Hi, and welcome back to the Three Minute Booster. In our series, Hacks, Habit, and Humor, this month, we have a very special um, episode today on goal setting. Grace, tell me about it. So for me, that this time of the year is all about thinking about next year and what what do I want to accomplish? Um, and it uh, and I and I do it almost as a matter of habit. Uh, so that, somewhere around the middle of November, my brain just starts going to what's going to what what do I need to do? Um, and so um, the the first thing is figuring out those things. What are those projects? Um, and and that really motivate you that you want to get done and. 2024 or 2025, whatever year you're listening to this, and then how to make them so that they become actionable and real to you. And so you often hear about a smart or smarter framework, a way of writing down your goal so that it becomes more real and more attainable for you. And so in general, when you're writing your goal, you want it to be specific. Uh, That is, I want to lose weight is not specific. It's probably a lot of people's goal. But yeah, uh, more specific would be I want to lose 30 pounds by March. Okay. Um, And so, um, and, and that might be an unrealistic goal that I just said, 30 pounds by March, maybe June. (laughs) So, but you want to look at your goal and set clear and concrete objectives, basically. And that's the specific part. Then measurable. How are you going to know you're moving toward it? Um, So establish criteria that measure your progress toward whatever the goal is. So um, you might have a goal that you're going to improve your production at, at work. Well, how do you measure that? Is it in what are the widgets that measure a, a, a goal attainment in your particular profession? And then make that goal specific to that or measurable by those metrics. Um, and then achievable. If you have never lost one pound in your entire life, uh, then saying I'm going to lose 100 pounds is probably uh, maybe uh, not realistic uh, and, and maybe too daunting. Maybe start with five pounds. Um, so ensure that your gut goal is challenging, yet it's feasible. So <clears throat> look at your own resources, your own commitment, your own uh, time in terms of what do you have to dedicate to this goal. And then make that goal uh, consistent with those uh, notions. Finally, uh, relevant and time bound. And, um, and those uh, maybe we'll speak about later, but smart goals are the first step to effective goal setting. Thank you for sharing, Chris. That deep insight look into how we can create really useful goals and, and actionable goals. Thanks everyone for watching. Please share and maybe let us know your goals. Like what are your goals? What, what do you want to achieve? What's next for you? And I'd love to hear about that and see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye.